Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome to some BeamNG Drive. So in front of us we've got two cars, on the right hand side is the Ibishu Wijin which is the newest car in BeamNG Drive. On the left hand side we have the Cheesy 3000 which is my car I made uh, a few months back which is pretty much a competitor to the Ibishu Wijin because it's still a tiny wedge car as you can probably tell. The special thing about both these cars is they're both very very fast. Now the Cheesy 3000 is called the Cheesy 3001 because it looks like cheese cheese and the other reason is because it has 3,000 horsepower don't ask why but it, it just does it's been detuned for this video to about 2,000 horsepower or so because yeah it's already absolutely insane let's make it a little bit less insane on the right hand side the widgeon has been upgraded from the measly 160 horsepower in the 1.3 liter to 2,000 horsepower, the 1.3 liter. I also have modified things like the wheels, so it's got bigger wheels, it's also a 5 lug conversion. This is my own sort of variant on it, it's got, you know, the racing seat, it's got a roll cage, it does have some extra weight, because this thing is absolutely insane. Uh, they're both manual gearboxes, both rear wheel drive, this is a V16 engine, this is a 4 cylinder engine, they're both, what well, that's twin turbo, and that's naturally aspirated, yet yeah, don't ask why that 4 cylinder has 2,000 horsepower, it just does, okay? So what we're doing today is competing these cars. No, really, we're actually going to have a competition between these two cars in a series of events. The Widgeon is going to verse the Cheesy 3000 in a few things like a track race, a drag race, and of course the jump arena to see which car can jump farther. Both of these cars are insanely fast in their own right. Uh, they both handle terribly because they are absolutely terrible to drive, but they're a lot of fun. So we're going to go up to the... Uh, the Cheesy 3000 here first. Look at it real quick. So it's my cheese wedge shaped car. It has a V16. It's a pretty big V16. You can see right there. There's the intake runners. Uh, it, it, it's a little compact thing. It's got thick tires. I think two 255s in the rear. This thing also has 255s in the rear. So it does have slightly larger front tires, but that doesn't matter because this car is going to handle terribly regardless. The interior, very sparse. You got yourself a, a radio. You got some, you got some pedals right there that are very high up. There's no really area for your legs at all. Your knees are sort of in the roof, but that's 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 totally fine. Uh, one thing we'll note too, actually, we'll hop into this car first. We'll take it for just one bit of a, a simple drive. Before we actually drive it, though, we're going to remove this node. And then we're going to start start the car. Now, if we actually put the parking brake on, the back end squats down. So the parking brake's on, we can see on the bottom right-hand side. And the car's in reverse. But for some reason... It's rolling forward. I I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I absolutely love it. It's in reverse. The parking brake's on. If we actually give it a little bit of throttle here in reverse. It goes back. That's fine. Parking brake back on. Starts going forward. And for some reason, the back end just squats so much. It's so weird. I don't know. <laughs> That's why I had the uh, the note on. Because if you just don't do like it. Gotta give it a note here. Because it's just going to freak out. The brakes are fading even. Yeah, this car's going to be very interesting to drive. We're going to teleport over here to the Widgeon and um, start up again. It sounds pretty normal here. Uh, we can see the, the the horsepower, which is not really working. We're actually going to go ahead and hide that because it's sort of broken right now anyways. We've got the airspeed. Uh, we're going to do a, a land speed competition, see which car can go faster in a straight line. A drag race, uh, a track test, and then a jump arena is what we're going to do. Both cars, this car's got a five-speed manual. Is it a five-speed? 5-speed manual, the Widgeon's got a 4-speed manual. I think it's a 4-speed, might be a 5-speed as well. Now this car also is absolute chaos to drive. Uh, let's hop into the first event and see which one's faster in a drag race. So for drag racing, we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, we've got one checkpoint here, one checkpoint at the end of the drag strip. Let's see what we can do for our drag racing time, because this is what's going to work. So we're going to launch this thing at a reasonably low RPM. And by reasonably low, I mean none at all. We're just going to drive, start driving nice and slow. We're already off to a terrible start. The axle's crooked. We're going a bit faster. So a 10.3... If we're rounding here, 10.3 and a quarter mile, that seems pretty quick. Let's try one more time. An 8.9 in the quarter mile. 8.9. Now we can do more too. We can also do, we can do more than that. We can do more than that for sure. But that's what we're going to leave at 8.9 easily. Um, if we drive it a little bit carefully, but towards the end we finished at what, 300 kilometers an hour, which is just crazy. Let's hop into the cheesy 3000 
and see what that does. Okay, so the wood just starts gliding gently by itself at first, so we're gonna just drive that by itself. Stay in second if we can, because it does not like shifting at all. All right, attempt 3000 with the cheesy 3000. Let's see if we can actually get a lap in here. Roll onto the throttle slow. High speed stability is not its strength. Stay in second, stay in third. 16.7, not our best time. We'll try once more, we'll try once more. A 10.3. We'll take the 10.3. So it, it, it's around a 10 second car, we'll say. I, I think the Widgeon is just much more stable. And the first point goes to the Abishu Widgeon. So all that matters in test number two is top speed. Now, how fast can these cars go? Theoretically, they're both in the hundreds of kilometers an hour. I think this one's like 300. I'm stuck. It's like 150. Uh, whereas the Cheesy 3000 can do like 400 kilometers an hour theoretically, which is absolutely insane. Let's just drive them both. Let's just see how they drive. So the Widget has got this wing in the back here. It's gonna have a... Oh, it's scary. Yep, we've got much less grip on the grid map. A little bit, bit more casual. It's, it's pretty violent going to second and third and changing gears in general, but it's not nearly as bad as the Cheesy 3000. 367, 370... Still going. So around 376 was the highest I saw. Can we, get, can, we get, can we beat 376? No, 376 it is. Okay, 376 kilometers an hour with the Widgeon. Let's hop into the cheesy 3000 uh, and see what kind of top speed we can get with that thing. Let's just drive. We're going to start off in like third, I think. You're probably in fourth. It's a fourth. We'll start off in fourth because it's still so fast in fourth. Whoa, it's unstable at speeds. Oh, it's sliding. Okay. We're good. That was like 150 only. Uh, this thing has significantly more torque than the uh, Ibishu. Significantly. We'll try that one more time. 175. We're getting there. Oh god, it's so much harder to drive. Why am I putting myself in this paint over 200? There's 200. No, come on, come on, buddy. Gosh darn it, 200. 201, I think. 201 kilometers. We'll try one more time. There's 205, 210. Oh, whoa. 210 kilometers an hour. <laughs> and the wheel popped off. Oh my god. <laughs> oh gosh, what happened there? Wow, that, uh... Two points to the Widgeon, I guess. Zero points to the Cheesy 3000. Let down by a... a cheese Wedge. Cheese. So with the Widgeon winning every event so far, I think it's fair that we'll take it first again in this event. This is the automation test track, the full race circuit we're doing which is going to be a very casual lap between these two vehicles, obviously. Uh, we're going to turn the hot lap, and we're just going to start driving here and see which one gets a better time. All right, driving the Widgeon on the first lap here, or the only lap, I guess, of the automation test track. Full circle. We're going to go in second here for a bit and just cruise in second. Oh, it handles terribly. Does not like turning. Actually, it's got, it actually leans in pretty good. The Cheesy 3000, I feel, is going to be... Uh, another loser here as well. These cars just don't handle as good as BMG cars. Ooh, it's a little bit under steering. We're okay. That downforce with the wing, because the wing is actually at max angle. It's probably going to be very effective at providing the back end with downforce, keeping the back end hooked to the ground. Um, while the front end itself is already hooked to the ground because it's so gosh darn low. Brakes are pretty terrible. We already have some... Bro! Okay, we're, we're around. Okay, the axle looks like it shifted a little bit. That's probably okay. Let's just go in first person for a second here and cruise. Oh boy, okay. Oh, it's terrible to drive. Okay, the, the ship. Oh, okay, we're around again. Gotta be careful. We don't want to. We don't want to break the axles even more than they're already broken. Because, um, you know that sounds like a bad idea. I love how the mirrors even work. Oh, there's a wall. Okay, we're fine. Okay. 
Well, I see no problem with this whatsoever, to be honest. It does have low-end grip, the cheesy. This thing is just terrifying at all ends, but it actually grips okay at high speeds. No, you know, it's pretty reasonable. Like, we're doing 180 kilometers an hour, which is pretty much faster than the cheesy can do ever. We're braking here pretty hard. Brakes have completely failed on us, but that's okay. We're fine. Oh, boy. I want to flip it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're fine. Uh. Uh. Oh, boy. Oh, no. We got this, we got this. Nope, we don't need the wing anymore. I guess I meant to grab the other piece. Why is it so... We're good, we're good, okay. Okay, it's not turning anymore. It only turns left. No, please, please stay straight. We're good, we're good, okay. We're good. Oh, no. Okay, we're just gonna... Gonna quickly just... And we did it, guys, with a 4 minute 20 second. Yay! 4 minutes, 20 seconds, get it? No, uh, this car is terrible to drive. Uh, if you crash it, it is a death trap and a half. Uh, we're going to hop into the Cheesy 3000 now. See how that thing does? I have actually low hopes. If we can beat four minutes, then I'll count the Cheesy as a win. Now, at low speed, it, it's actually very reasonable. Never mind, I take that back. It's a little bit like on a skating rink. It's the skating rink has been just completely doused in lube. So it's just a, 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 a lubed up skating rink. Yeah. Jump into gear. We're gonna... Oh gosh. Oh gosh. It's got. It's got. Um. Yeah. Terrible. Terrible. Um. Oversteer when you let off the throttle. Terrible. But at least with this car, we don't have to worry too much about the axles sort of jumping and moving around. We have to worry about the entire thing just exploding though, which is another issue in itself. Oh no. Oh no, no, please, Cheesy. We we're only on like 130. You know, we can still do this. I have not lost faith in the Cheesy yet. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to beat the Widgeon. We gotta get one win out of this. We're not even making boost at all, we're making negative boost. It's so god darn loud. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was, a, that was a great corner except for that part. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're bouncing here. Are we just on three wheels? It's just scraping. Oh, there's there's a straight. Look at this. This side's fine. It's just bouncing a little bit here, but... Let's pick up the pace. We got this. We got 40 seconds left. 30 seconds. A hundred kilometers an hour on three wheels. Come on, Cheesy. 20 seconds. Oh my gosh, this is way closer than I thought. We got 10 seconds. Come on, Cheesy. We're on the corner. No! No! No, we almost did it! Oh gosh. I mean, we'll be to 420 still, but the Cheesy's not getting the win. I mean... Can I give the Cheesy, like, a pity win? I, I feel like the Widgeon gets the actual win, whereas the Cheesy wins my heart. Uh, we'll, we'll give it to the Widgeon. Widgeon's got three wins, but this final event is going to actually decide it all. Whoever wins this last event is the winner in my heart. Let's hop into the Jump Arena and see which one jumps farther. And for the final event of the night, we are doing the Jump Arena. This is the one that proves it all. Is the Widgeon going to win? It's so quiet. You guys notice that? I don't know. I'm gonna break here because it's terrifying. We're gonna roll a neutral. Seems like a better idea. Now this car is actually pretty stable at speeds, where uh, the Cheesy 3000 is not stable at any speeds ever. 185 kilometers now, a very reasonable speed here. Now, we're not measuring jump distance this time because these cars aren't going to jump by just rolling. We're going to measure just sliding distance. Whichever one slides for the furthest wins. Very simple. 
Of course, the widget. Oh, it flips onto its. Oh, onto its wheels. Oh my gosh, it stuck the landing. Does it still drive? It still drives. Absolutely normally. Okay, not really, but pr pretty much normally. Let's hop into the cheesy 3000 and see how it does. Brake a little bit here just because it's terrifying. The brakes are way worse than this thing. Let's go to neutral and just sort of roll here. High speed stability is not this thing spread. 120 is sketchy AF. Okay, we're, we're not good. Okay, we got two tries. Like I said, two tries. 160. That's not, that's not, 170 is not bad, actually. We lost the wheel just rolling. Oh my gosh, this thing's terrible. <laughs> but, will it go farther? Oh no, it's, it's gonna take with the widget. <laughs> Not the widget. We're good. Oh, it's made it farther. That's it. That's it. The cheesy 3000 might not be the most competitive car ever. But it's the most competitive in my heart. And there you have it, guys. Uh, this was the Ibishu Widgeon or Race Spec versus my cheesy 3000 Super Wedge car. And I think it just goes to show that cars and automation are inherently terrible. And you should always avoid them when possible. So before we finish off this video, I just want to shout out my Discord. Link to join it is in the description down below. If you guys want to hang on my Discord, I'm hanging out in there all the time. So join it. Link is in the video description down below. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to my channel members, my quad turbo channel members. Thank you so much to Childish Sin, DD Man, and Ruben for you guys' continued support on the channel, and as well as everyone's support on the channel, whether you're a channel member or just watching the video, commenting, liking, and subscribing. You guys mean the absolute world to me, and I'm very grateful to have you guys follow my YouTube journey along with myself. Is, does that make sense? I don't know. Uh, join the Discord link in the description below, guys. Just join it. What do you, join it. What are you doing? Thank you guys so much for watching, I guess, and, um, as always, I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll see you guys next time.